So we were just laying at the beach and we were laying over there and all of a sudden the sea came super far up the water and now my towel is completely soaked. <laughs> Oops! So I just got back from a few supermarkets that I went to to get some vegan stuff. So the veggies and fruit and pasta and stuff like that I just buy at some local supermarkets but I just went to some bigger supermarkets to get some vegan stuff. So I got this uh, mushroom tofu stuff from Lidl. So it's basically just a tofu with mushroom flavor and the tofu is breaded, I think. So I'm super excited to try that. Then I got some uh, vegetable burgers, which are vegan as well, and they look pretty good. Then I got some Alpro pudding, some strawberries because they were pretty cheap at Lidl. And I got the Alpro pudding for Macadona. This one's from Macadona as well, and these two things are from Lidl. So then I also got a few things from the fresh section. So they actually had a vegan sticker on the display for these two things, which I'm really happy about because otherwise I never would have thought that they were vegan. And my Spanish is definitely not good enough to check if they are vegan or not. So these are just two mini pizzas. So they just have some veggies on there and some tomato paste. So those look very good. Then I also got a vegan croissant, which is kind of a more darker croissant, but I just ate one and it is so good, like really tasty. Definitely doesn't taste exactly like a normal croissant, it's a bit less sweet, but it's super tasty. And yeah, it was only like 40 cents, so I'm super happy with that. I'm definitely going to go back for more of these. So and then I got a few other things, so I got this loaf of bread and Lidl always displays their ingredients with uh, their fresh uh, bread and stuff, so that's pretty handy. Then I got some chocolate, I always get this one at home and I really like that one. And I just got some baked beans, uh, some tomato sauce and some pasta.
So we just ordered some vegan Chinese takeout. So we've got some white rice, some fried veggies, a, a vegan chicken dish and some uh, vegan spring rolls. So we just got an apartment with a stove so that I can cook which is pretty handy as a vegan on holiday because they definitely don't have a lot of vegan options here. They do have a few restaurants that uh, have vegan options which I was pretty surprised about but yeah they don't have a lot. By the way I just showered so that is why my hair looks this crazy. But yeah I'm going to be making dinner now and show you what I'm going to make. So for dinner I made something super simple because I'm really too lazy to cook today. So I just made some mushrooms and some baked beans. And I'm going to eat that with half of a veggie burger, some bread and some lettuce. So I'm probably going to eat like half of this bag of lettuce. Oh my god guys, look how big this cacti is. It is huge. So cool. So we're currently on our way to the Chinese. It is literally like the third time this week that we are going there, but the food is just really tasty. So I actually found this Chinese on an app called Happy Cow. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know that app, but you can just uh, put your location in there and then you can find uh, vegan restaurants or vegetarian restaurants or restaurants that uh, have vegan or vegetarian options. 
and it's super handy because uh, if you're somewhere that you're not familiar you can just find all the vegan options in the neighborhood <laughs> so that's super handy so for this Chinese I found out that the vegetarian dishes and the vegetable dishes are all vegan so you've got quite a lot of choices we so far tried two different dishes and today we're going to try a third one So this time we got a dish called chop suey, I think, and yeah, it looks super good. And we just got that with white rice and again a spring roll. 